I was scared of AGI until I realized a few key ideas. The first one is that there will still be games to play, even in the post-AGI world. So by nature, I'm super ambitious and the thought that I wouldn't be able to accomplish all of my goals, I wouldn't be able to reach the level of success that I would want to have before AGI gets created, that, you know, disturbed me. Especially that people who would be born just like 10, 15 years earlier would have a massive advantage just because, you know, they had more years to live. But honestly, after thinking about this a lot, there will still be games or ways to get ahead, ways to compete, ways to succeed, even in the post-AGI world. And yeah, those games will probably be very different from the ones we have today, but this realization made me a lot more optimistic about the creation of AGI, that I will still be able to be successful and do something and achieve something. Another idea that made me a lot more optimistic about the creation of AGI is looking back at the history of the human species and thinking, what is our main advantage? What is the reason why we outcompeted and defeated all the other, you know, species and animals? And one of the strengths, one of the main strengths is our ability to adapt. I mean, that's the superpower of humans. So no matter how much change and chaos and uncertainty there will be, and trust me, there'll be a lot in the coming two to five years, humans are excellent at adapting. So even though all of this seems scary, and trust me, it does seem scary to me as well, I have true belief that we will adapt and overcome all of it. Now, the next realization that gave me a lot of hope is that AGI is very likely to get leaked. Now, that sounds weird, so let me explain. I believe that one of the greatest, actually, by far the greatest danger, is the centralized control of AGI. If only a handful of people control the greatest, most powerful technology in the history of the world, I believe that's bad. I believe it should be open source and accessible to everyone. But all it takes is one good actor, one person with good morals to leak AGI. And I don't mean like leak the weights, although that would be amazing. Just, you know, leak the information that it was created, that it actually exists and just, you know, do what Edward Snowden did, but for AGI. And given the power and the transformational nature of this technology, the chance that one of these people exists and will do something like that is pretty high, I think. Which personally makes me very happy. Another idea that made me feel a lot more positive about the creation of AGI is that hardworking people will dominate. And what I mean by that is that if you look at the average person who hates to work, who is, you know, wants to do nothing but watch TV by nature, those people, once systems like UBI exist, those people will do nothing extra, nothing productive. And I'm not, like on a societal level, I'm not discussing whether that's good or bad. Obviously, that's not optimal. I'm just tra trying to be like from an individualistic perspective, right? People who do stuff more, like more than they need to do, will get a massive advantage and will the gap between the people who do the bare minimum and the people who do always more and always pushing will grow even more, I believe. And there's this notion that AGI will be this great equalizer and that after it gets created, nothing else will matter. And honestly, I could not disagree with that more. Like, think about it. If the people who get those UBI checks do nothing, people who do something will, will get such a massive advantage. They'll out, out compete the group one. The group two who take, a, take extra action and do more stuff they'll absolutely dominate. Now, if you are one of those people as well, the people who want to do more, who don't want to just sit on the sidelines and watch the AI revolution happen, then make sure to join my community. It's the first link in the description and it's the place where people are building the future. So if that sounds like you, make sure to join. Now, the next realization was huge for me personally, and it is that everyone will experience the chaos created by AGI. You know, it made me uneasy for a long time knowing that I spent all day, every day, learning about AI, using AI, experimenting about it. I mean, it's all I do, right? Yet I still can sense the chaos and I'm still like nowhere near. I mean, I would still like to try more AI tools, read more AI papers, like watch more AI videos, more podcasts, even though it's all I do. And I realized that everyone will experience this chaos. I mean, there is no way of escaping it. But once I realized that the best thing I can do is be more prepared than others, have more clarity than everybody else. It, you know, gave me a good feeling. It gave me like, okay, 
yeah, I'll still feel this chaos no matter what, no matter how many, you know, CEO interviews and podcasts I watch, how much research I do, how many AI tools, how much programming I do, I will still feel uncertain and chaos. But the best I can do is be more prepared and have more clarity than everyone else. The next idea that will make you a lot more optimistic about the future is that reaching your dream life and accomplishing your goals will be easier than ever before. And that is simply because AI will, and AGI will create way more opportunities and there will be more software, more solutions. Like starting a business will have less friction. Before you had to have a lot of capital and you, you know, had to hire employees to, to build a big business. But there will be billion dollar companies with one or two people because everybody will have access to AI agents and, you know, different AI tools that will make building your dream life way more possible. So this is another reason why I think you should be more hopeful and optimistic about the future. Also, governments are very behind on the AI. I mean, if you've been, you know, following anything from America or Europe, you'll see that the regulation is super behind and those people are just catching up, even with, you know, Sam Altman and others talking to them all the time. This actually is good for people like you and me who aren't, you know, in power, who aren't running countries, because it shifts the power dynamic towards us into our hands. It shifts it from the people who are in, you know, Senate, Congress, in presidents, stuff like that, into the people who are at the cutting edge of AI, who are taking it seriously, who are researching it and who are keeping up with the change. So this, you know, obviously is a good thing. And in a post AGI world, curiosity and adaptability will be the most valuable traits. Now, one of the best things about AGI is that it will make finding like-minded people hundred times easier. Think about this, right? Everybody's personality and interests and what you do, your hobbies and all of that, everything you do will be converted into a high dimensional vector database. Now, if you don't know what that means, basically, you know, a database is all these different points, right? So you might have how much like your religion or your political beliefs or your fitness level or what you, what entertainment you consume, all of those points. And there will be like tens of thousands will be converted into a vector database, which then it could, you know, be searched through vector search. Other people who are similar to you have similar interests, similar hobbies, similar passions, and you can find like best friends that are way more aligned than you could even imagine, right? S people who are probably living on the other side of the planet who you otherwise would never meet or find, those people we will be able to find, whether that's new friends, new colleagues, doesn't matter. Like the, it will be an era of collaboration and, you know, community and support unlike anything we've ever seen. And if that doesn't make you hopeful for the post-AGI world, I don't know what will. Now, if you want me to make more videos about AGI, make sure to subscribe. It's the best way to let me know to make more videos like this one. So thank you for watching.